The money in his bank account does not mean that he's a man of high value. What makes him a man of high value? That he is a son of that he's the son of the most high God. He's called to one of the seven spheres of influence. He loves God. He honors you. He respects you. He's teachable. He's respectful to people. He has people he's accountable to. These are all things that make him a high value man. everybody how y'all doing welcome to another episode of word of the week with princess b so this is another one for my sisters in the lord and the lord wants to tell you that the money in his bank account does not determine his value let me say that for the ones at the back yeah the money in his bank account does not determine his value let me say it again but once at the back, back back the money in his bank accounts does not determine his value <laughs> so in this, I know we've spoken about this when we're defining a high value man, right? But um, God wanted me to focus on it and settle on it, but and tell you this. The fact that he makes 70 to 80 to 100 thousand dollars per annum does not mean that he's a high value man. If you want to know the definition of a high value man or a man of influence as we defined him as, go back. It literally says the, the top, top term, the name of the thing, if you're watching this on YouTube, Princess PTV. I said that here. Yeah. Um, go and watch. Go and watch that one. That's the definition of a high value man or a man of influence, as we defined him in that video. The money in his bank account does not mean that he's a man of high value. What makes him a man of high value? That he is a son of that he's the son of the most high God. He's called to one of the seven spheres of influence. He loves God. He honors you. He respects you. He's teachable. He's respectful to people. He has people he's accountable to. These are all things that make him a high value man or a man of influence or whatever the case may be. Right? We call we chose to call him man of influence. Um men of influence. So that's what determines his value. Is he a child of God? Is he hardworking? Is he respectful? Does he respect you? Does he respect his parents? Is he teachable? Does he respect your family? These are all things that you should put into consideration money guys is fleeting anybody can make money about someone would say that once you can give value you can make money that and there's also the, something called the prophetic dimension of wealth which can be transferred spiritually and bestowed upon anybody do you understand money is fleeting please stop rejecting men because it not make six or eight or ten figures Esha, no? I beg to beg you in the name of God, money doesn't determine his value or his worth. That is determined one by God and and by him, actually. Do you understand? Stop using money as a, as as the sole gauge mark as to why you will not marry the man God has for you. Stop it. Stop it. Because nobody knows tomorrow and money can be made overnight in this world where a trending video can make somebody go from zero to ten thousand hundred thousand subscribers and they're making money instantly please don't don't reject the husband because he doesn't have money <laughs> if god said this no one says you better bounce okay thanks <laughs> see y'all next week bye